Hello, Adam at Flash Building here with another PHP and MySQL web development tutorial. And in today's lesson, we're going to talk about emptying or truncating tables in MySQL databases. So say at any time in your custom programming in your project, you want to empty the table and set all indexes back to zero within the table. Um, you can do that through script or through PHP MyAdmin. And I'm going to show you the script method first. So let's open a create new PHP file in Dreamweaver. And let's just get rid of all that. And let's save it as on a desktop as uh, truncate my table. Truncate my table.php. Save. And now we'll code it out. First, we put our PHP opening tags. And let's just go ahead and put the PHP closing tag. That way, we have a nice PHP nest. And then we type include once. And here's where you connect to your MySQL database through an include file. And I show tutorials on how to set that up. It's just a smarter way to connect to your or easier way to connect your MySQL database universally through a universal script. So you connect to your MySQL, you include the connect, connect to MySQL.php script, so you connect it to your database. And then let's type an SQL query. So we'll just type in the dollar sign SQL equals MySQL underscore query and then you'll see it change color there you'll know that it's an official function and then open parenthesis close parenthesis and put a semicolon in between the parenthesis we'll put in double quote and double quote in between the double quotes we'll type all caps truncate space table space and then you just type the table name whatever your table name happens to be and then uh, you can even write yourself a conditional here. So if set up an if statement nest, and the condition will be this SQL statement. So if SQL executed, we print to the page. table has been emptied and that's pretty much the gist of the whole script and indexes set back to zero and the index okay so that will set your table index back to zero and empty it for you um, any table you want inside of a table inside of the uh, a MySQL database that you connect to and the table name goes right there so that empties it and if this SQL query happens to fail this condition won't be met and it will not print this line to the browser if it runs and it empties the table this, it'll print this line to the browser now let's talk about doing this in PHP my admin now I'm connected to my PHP MyAdmin interface and this is PHP MyAdmin is a nice easy interface for um, doing things inside of your MySQL database setting up tables running operations and you can learn some PHP in here too if you know what you're doing um, but if you're looking at a table structure say all you have to do to truncate the table and set all index back to zero and set the index for the table back to zero is press empty right here see this empty tab you press that it says do you really want to truncate table polls and my table name happens to be polls press ok and then php my admin will tell you that it's been emptied see truncate table polls you can even create the PHP code. And there, it looks a little bit different from mine, but it's pretty much the same thing. 
Okay, so that's how you do it. We'll see you next lesson.